So, uh, that one effective? Anybody find it not effective? Okay. The most important thing about that, apart from obviously getting a good stretch, is controlling that pelvic alignment. So we had to come around and correct one or two people where you've allowed the supporting knee up here to go a little bit too far forward. That would drop the, cap, the, the pelvis and you could see people arching their backs as they're sort of hanging too far forward. So you've got to control that, okay? <coughs> and then again when you're taking people off the couch. Okay, so from that you might have had indications of tight ITB and tight piriformis. So we'll move on to piriformis next and just recap on how you assess muscle length here. You're going to bring the knees together, okay? And then you're just going to hold the ankles, bring the knees up into flexion at about 90 degrees. Stay supporting the legs so that they don't drop back into extension, but just guide them into dropping out as far as they will go. As far as they will go. <laughs> That's obviously it, okay? <laughs> so we have tight piriformis on both legs. You've got a tight ass. Um, certainly tighter on the left side. <laughs> Thank you, Fraser. That one will go down well. Ombrio, <laughs> <laughs> Ombrio. Yes. Okay, so once we've done that, we've established we've got something to work with. We're then just going to pick the leg up from here, and our stretch position is obviously dropping this leg out. So make sure the knee stays in close, and there we can feel the point of bind. Problem now is if I do that without supporting, you can see what starts to happen. His pelvis starts to roll. So my preferred position for this is to get my hand there so that my arm is controlling the amount of rotation that takes place, and that leaves this hand free to sit over the iliac crest on the opposite side and just control that movement. So from here, we can passively stretch. We can hold for the 12 seconds. And then you're going to need to guide your client with the first contraction because don't forget they're face down. You're getting them to do an odd movement that they can't see. So what I'm going to ask you to do in a moment is to try and move your leg inwards in that direction. Same principle as before, building from a three to a seven out of 10. So when you're ready, just start contracting. Three, four, five, six, seven, and hold it at that intensity. And then we can count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Deep breath in, and as he breathes out, so we can gently take that to the new point of bind. Look at that miraculous gain there be doing ballet by the end of this session. Yeah. And we'll do the three cycles to get that full stretch and as always we'll go around to the opposite side uh, to balance out. Okay, any questions? Would you like to pair up and we'll have a go? <laughs> Too many people on the couch. Okay. Okay, pair up and have a go at uh, doing 